Do you want to better build trust with your prospects? If so, Joe Novaro gives us one tip in his book, What Everybody is Saying. Welcome to the Bite Size Sales Podcast, where we believe that you don't need to take time out of the field or off the phone stuck in a classroom to get great sales training, and that taking bite-sized steps each day to get better at your craft is the best way to improve your results. I am your host, Andrew Monaghan, and I'm using my 20 plus years in B2B sales to bring you simple, actionable ideas that you can use every day to help you get better. This episode is sponsored by Sales Bluebird. Most of us don't have time to keep up with the latest sales ideas and all the blogs, podcasts, news articles, YouTube posts every week. Sales Bluebird curates content from all these sources and gives you three mindset tips, three sales skills tips, and three sales leader tips once a week in your email inbox for free. Sign up right now at salesbluebird.com. Welcome to episode 62. Sometimes it's the most simple and basic things which can make a difference. And this is a great example around body language from Joe Navarro, who's the ex-FBI agent who wrote a great book called What Everybody is Saying. And I'm going to read straight from the book now. People may regard you with suspicion if they can't see your hands while you are talking. Therefore, always be sure to keep your hands visible during face-to-face communication with others. If you've ever talked to someone whose hands are underneath a table, I think you'll quickly sense how uncomfortable the conversation feels. When we interact in person with other individuals, we expect to see their hands because the brain depends on them as an integral part of the communication process. When the hands are out of sight or less expressive, it detracts from the perceived quality and honesty of the information being transmitted. Years ago, I conducted an informal study in three of my classes. I asked students to interview each other, instructing half of the class to keep their hands under their desks during the conversation, while the other half was told to leave their hands visible. After a 15-minute interview, we discovered that the people with their hands under the desk were generally perceived as being uncomfortable, withdrawn, sneaky, or even deceptive by those with whom they were speaking. Those interviewers with their hands in plain view on top of the desk were perceived as being more open and friendly, and none was perceived as deceptive. Not a very scientific experiment, but quite instructive. When conducting jury service, one thing that stands out is how much jurors dislike it when attorneys hide behind the lectern. Jurors want to see their attorney's hands so they engage the presentation more accurately. Jurors don't like it when witnesses hide their hands. They perceive this negatively, commenting that the witness must be holding back or perhaps even lying. While these behaviors have nothing to do with deception per se, the perception of the jurors is significant, reminding us the concealment of the hands should be avoided. And that's read straight from Joe Navarro's book, What Everybody is Saying. So this is simple, really. Not much to add here. Pretty obvious. We seem to trust people less if their hands are hidden away underneath the table during meetings. So the action for you is to evaluate how do you do that? Do you have your hands above the table? Are they easily seen? If not, can you fix it? And secondly, have some sort of reminder in meetings. If you're doing face-to-face calls, is maybe on your in your notebook or something like that, some sort of reminder is there saying keep your hands above the table because sometimes you, know, you revert back to what you are doing before. But this is a super simple tip. Try and stack things in our favor. It might just do a little bit by keeping your hands above the table. If you like this episode, the single most useful thing you could do to support this podcast is share it with your sales network. It'll probably take you less than 20 seconds. All you need to do is click the share icon in your app right now and share it wide and far. It will mean the world to me and it could make a difference to those you share it with. Also, I need your suggestions, please. If you have a topic you want me to cover or just want to get in touch, simply email me at upside at unstoppable.do. That's upside at unstoppable.do. And now to wrap up. Training without implementation is just entertainment. 
and pretty poor entertainment when I deliver it. So make sure you take action on what you learned today and keep getting it better and better each and every day. Also, this world does not need more sales BS. So please don't create any more. Be great at the fundamentals, be honest, be real, be yourself, just do not BS. And finally, I'm signing off as the great Joe Sexton would by saying, gone to sell.